All right, guys, you know what it's all about. We're gonna be talking about 21 work from home jobs that you can do at night. And let's jump right into it with the first one on the list, which is patient tech support specialist. Now, the thing is, if a patient calls in in the middle of the night, a lot of the time it's going to be an emergency, right? So you can't just have a normal tech support specialist here. And basically you're the unsung hero that swoops in to rescue patients and healthcare professionals from the clutches of technical glitches. And in this position, you'd make about 40 to $60,000 a year. Now, believe it or not, you can actually get into this job with no experience and no college degree. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen right now. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. And yeah, this one is pretty good. It also offers a lot of opportunities for advancements to even better positions. And there's a lot of opportunity at night specifically, because not a lot of people want to work at night. So if you are a night owl, you have a huge advantage. Overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next one on the list is going to be an expedite track and trace specialist. And in this position, you're kind of like a digital bloodhound that uses technology to track the movement of shipments and ensure they reach their destination on time. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of opportunity for this position at night and track and trace specialists make about 46 to $67,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one. I actually have a cousin who got into this with zero experience and no college degree that's related to this. So I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a solar lead generator. And this is basically someone who either gathers leads or helps to convert leads into sales in the middle of the night for solar related products. Now the solar industry, if you didn't know, is absolutely booming. It's billions and billions of dollars and salespeople that either call or email or go and knock on people's doors need a list of people to actually talk to and try to sell solar stuff to. And that's where the solar lead generator would come in. You would be working in the middle of the night, looking at different properties, seeing if people could actually afford solar power and seeing which people could be potential customers. And in this position, you can make about 56 to $94,000 a year. So this is another one of those positions that's super easy to get into, does not require a college degree, does not require any experience, and there's even more opportunity to do this at night. Plus, there's lots of opportunities to work your way up and get into even higher paying positions. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen right now. You can pause the video and check them out if you'd like to. So I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a foreign language video remote interpreter. Now, as you can imagine, if you're in the United States right now, for instance, across the world, it's the opposite time from you. So if it's nighttime for you right now, it's probably in the middle of the business day across the world. And guess what they need? They need interpreters. So if you happen to be bilingual, there's probably going to be a ton of opportunities for you in the middle of the night. And typically video remote interpreters make about 50 to $78,000 a year. And you can make even more than that if you work the night shift. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. So the obvious thing you need to get started here is you need to be fluent in a foreign language. But other than that, you don't need experience or a college degree to get into these roles. So I can't give this one too high of an opportunity score because you do have to be fluent in a foreign language and a lot of people aren't. Plus it typically does have to be a language from a country that has a bunch of money. So something like Mandarin, Chinese, Russian, Arabic, or High Valyrian. But if you do happen to be fluent in that language, this can be a great opportunity. But I'll give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score overall. Next is going to be a telehealth assistant. So telehealth is basically where you take care of a lot of your healthcare related needs, but you do it on an iPad or on a computer instead of going in person. And this actually blew up during the pandemic. And in this position, you would provide crucial support in the rapid rapidly expanding telemedicine industry. And you get paid about 36 to $50,000 a year doing this in telehealth, and you'd probably make even more if you did the night shift. So this is another one where you don't need a college degree, you don't need any previous experience, you are going to need some training, but typically the companies will actually provide that training for you. Here are some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen. And yeah, this is a pretty good one. It's a rapidly expanding industry, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a product support technician that works in the middle of the night. So this is basically a technician that typically is going to specialize in a particular type of product. So for instance, you might be answering questions on a particular type of software, or maybe you answer questions on a website because you work in the e-commerce industry on websites that sell physical products, and you'd be taking questions all throughout the night, sometimes from customers and maybe also from your own team. And in this position, you'd make about 48 to $72,000 a year. Now, this is another one where you absolutely do not have to have a college degree 
or previous experience. And you can definitely get into this job by just kind of studying on your own and having a good portfolio. There's also lots of room for vertical growth. There's lots of different higher paying IT jobs that you can go into. So this is a really good one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some job opportunities you can look into. Next one is a criminal data processor and they play a vital role in the legal system. And they do this by meticulously scrutinizing criminal and civil records for accuracy and completeness. And they're often gonna be hired by legal firms, background check companies, and government agencies that require precise and thorough data handling. And criminal data processors make about thirty-nine dollars to $61,000 a year, and there's lots of opportunities for remote, at-home, nighttime jobs. Now, with this job, it does give you an edge to have a bachelor's degree, although it really does not matter which bachelor's degree you have. However, you can get into it without having a college degree. There are certain certifications you can get, for instance, that would be a good replacement for a college degree. And in some cases, the company that hires you will actually train you and get you that certification. So it's a little bit harder to get into this one than some of the other ones on the list. So for that reason, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like to. And by the way, comment below which one of these jobs is interesting to you. And in the future, I'll either include that job again, or I might even make a dedicated video to it. The next on the list is going to be very similar, and that's going to be a criminal records specialist. And this one is a little bit more like a digital librarian, except instead of organizing books, you're going to be organizing criminal records. Records. So it's less of an urgent job and more of a just make sure that everything is organized type of job. So for that reason, it pays a little bit less at about thirty-eight to fifty-four thousand dollars a year. However, this one is also a little bit easier to get into. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of seven point five out of ten. Next is going to be a content specialist, and this is someone who creates and manages digital content for various online platforms, and they can differentiate themselves by being able to engage and grow an audience. They're often employed by businesses of all sizes, from startups wanting to establish their brand to large corporations wanting to maintain their online presence. And there's nothing stopping people from working on the content creation process overnight. And so there's a lots of opportunities here and they make around 47 to $73,000 a year. You don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience, although previous experience always helps, especially if it's something that's creative related. Really, you just need to have a good portfolio and be able to prove that you know how to make good content. But yeah, overall, here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. This one is gonna get an opportunity score of nine out of 10, and it's gonna be especially good if you are a creative type person. A really good way to start is by taking my friend Seth's free digital marketing course, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. A great way to get into content creation is for instance, to start writing. And he teaches people how to get into that with SEO, which is search engine optimization. And you can learn all about that if you click that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below because he's got a free masterclass. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have actually gotten jobs using Seth's training. So he's awesome. He's probably gotten more people digital marketing jobs than any other person in the entire world. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Next one on the list is going to be an after hours scheduler. And this is the behind the scene wizard that ensures business businesses and services never skip a beat, even when the rest of the world is asleep. And you can get jobs anywhere from healthcare services to transportation services to customer support centers. And there's a lot of demand for these unsung heroes across many different industries. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 40 to $56,000 a year. So another one that's very easy to get into, there's also tons of demand if you want to work at night. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote monitoring specialist. And this is typically a healthcare position where you're going to be analyzing patient data from afar to keep their health in check. And they're often found at the digital front lines of the telemedicine companies and health tech startup industries. And it's expected by 2025 that 26% of US patients are going to be using these telemedicine apps. And in this position, you'd expect to make 41 to $59,000 a year. And this is another one of those healthcare related positions that don't require a college degree or previous experience. Typically, they do require some training, but a lot of the time the companies will actually provide that for you. So super easy to get into, lots of opportunity, very stable job as well. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an overnight logistics specialist. And logistics, a lot of the time, is actually planning
planned out overnight. And it makes sense because trucks usually leave the warehouses in the morning. So they need to have a plan on where they're gonna go and how fast they need to be there before they leave the warehouse. And basically you're just gonna be trying to make sure that goods go from point A to point B in a smooth, timely manner. And there's lots of different industries and sectors that hire for this type of position, all the way from e-commerce to manufacturing to retail companies. And this is a position where you can make 48 to $74,000 a year. It does not require previous experience or a college degree. I actually had a cousin who got into this type of position and they didn't need to have any experience or a college degree or anything like that. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And overall, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a mobile gaming community manager. And this is basically where you're a bridge between the developers and the people who play the game. So you might be reading forums or suggestions about bugs or glitches or things that you could do to improve the game. And then you'd communicate that to the developer. And of course, a glitch or a bug or some type of technical problem can happen in the middle of the night. And oftentimes it does. And that's where you would come in because you would be the one who either tells them directly and then they fix it right there or at least reports it to them in the morning so that it gets fixed as quickly as possible. So this is a position where you make 53 to $81,000 a year. You don't need to have any previous experience or a college degree, but you are gonna need to be someone who is very experienced with video games. And it's particularly good if you love that video game. So if you're passionate about it, that's a plus. Now, this one is pretty competitive as you can imagine because it's kind of like a dream job. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be an overnight concierge. And this is basically where you would be a concierge at something like a hotel and they would be on the front line of communication with security or you'd be addressing urgent inquiries and situations from behind the scenes and you'd be providing around the clock customer service. Now for this position, you'd make about 35 to $47,000 a year, but typically you get paid about 10% more if you work overnight. And of course, this is a remote position, so you wouldn't be helping them in person. They'd probably be calling you or maybe emailing you. Now, it really depends on the hotel, what their requirements are. Some of them will require you to have a college degree. Many of them won't. Some of them may require you to have some type of hotel working experience or at least some type of customer service experience. Many of them don't. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. And here are some opportunities that I'll put up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a remote lab dispatcher. They basically manage the logistics of medical specimens and lab orders, and they ensure each case is processed swiftly and correctly from afar. And this is a very common position in the healthcare industry. And lab dispatchers make about 41 to $58,000 a year. This is another one of those healthcare positions that's super easy to get into, does not require a college degree or previous experience, typically does require some training, but usually the company will train you. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. By the way, if you think of anyone else who could benefit from this video, go ahead and send it to them. Maybe it's a friend of yours or a family member, for instance, or someone who just needs help getting a job, definitely send this video to them because this will probably give them some really good ideas. Next one on the list is going to be an overnight pharmacy technician. Now, this is something that is near and dear to my heart because I used to work in the pharmacy. I used to be a pharmacist and there are a lot of overnight positions available for pharmacy technicians. And some of them are even remote or work from home. And basically you're going to be assisting licensed pharmacists with prescription management and patient communication, ensuring medication orders are accurate and processed efficiently. And these types of positions are often going to be important employed by online pharmacies, telehealth services, and healthcare organizations that have adapted to the digital age. And pharmacy technicians typically make between 35 and $49,000 a year. So this is definitely a position where you don't have to have a college degree or previous experience. You do need some training, as I've said many times before, but typically they will provide that. I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a media monitoring analyst. And this is a very interesting position where you're in charge of meticulously analyzing and tracking media coverage of a specific product or service. So they basically harness media monitoring tools, social listening platforms, and craft intricate search queries to gather data, ultimately delivering crucial insights to corporate leaders. And media monitoring analysts make about 51 to $87,000 a year. Now with this one, a formal degree definitely helps you, but you don't absolutely need it. There are definitely online courses on platforms like Coursera, edX, or Khan Academy that can help you get into this. It is going to be easier if you have some type of media or marketing background as well. Even something in journalism or public relations or advertising can really help you. It's just a lot more difficult. And so for that reason, because it's more difficult to get into this one, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out 
5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. And by the way, sometimes I'll get comments on these videos like, Shane, you said you can get into it without any previous experience, but I looked up the job opportunity and it says that they require experience. Guys, almost every position says it requires experience. Just apply anyways, okay? Very few of them actually require experience. It's more of a preference. Almost all the time, they end up hiring people who don't have experience. So it's just a preference. This is something that's like pretty obvious to me, but it's just something that I like to state in these videos. Next is going to be a television captioner. Now, this is a position that's especially useful if you're captioning something like the news. So basically what you do is you listen to what people are saying and then you put captions on the screen that people can watch if they don't want to listen to the program. Now, for something like the news, where it happens so quickly, this is something where you kind of need to be on call. And so therefore, they need television captioners that work in the middle of the night. They can't really work ahead on something like the news, right? So you can make about forty-two to $75,000 a year in this role. You also don't need to have a college degree or previous experience, although previous experience doing transcription or captioning does help, but it's a lot easier to land a job if you're willing to do the night shift. So overall, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll have them pop up on the screen. Next Next is going to be a managing editor. This is basically the silent sentinel of the publishing realm, vigilantly curating content to inform, engage, and resonate with readers in the middle of the night, right? So you might have a newspaper or a magazine or something like that where they're gonna be putting out content. And in some cases, the content needs to be on news-related topics that they do at the last moment. So you can be the managing editor that works at night and you can make sure that everything is perfect, there's no mistakes, there's no inaccuracies, and everything is complete. Because a lot of the time, the newspapers are printed in the middle of the night and that's when they go out. Now, one of my brothers actually got a job being a managing editor and he didn't have any experience working for newspapers at all. But the way he was able to get a job is by getting the night shift job, right? Working at night. So it's easier to land these jobs if you're willing to work the night shift. And in this position, you can make 67 to $109,000 a year. So this one's a bit harder to get into. Uh, doesn't require experience or a college degree, but those things are typically preferred. I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score and you can check out some opportunities right here. Next on the list is going to be a media editor and there's a lot of different things you can get hired for with this. I know it kind of does sound like a managing editor but it's actually a bit different. So this role for instance is hired by government agencies who need you to kind of curate information that happened throughout the night and then you basically make a report for people to read in the morning and there's a lot of other opportunities out there as well but you make about 57 to 89 thousand dollars a year in this role and overall I'm going to give this one a seven point five out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. Next on the list is going to be a financial services representative. And this is someone who would act as the middleman between something like a bank and its customers. And you may even help pick out some of their investments for their investment portfolio. And these positions are often hired by banks, credit unions, and investment firms. Now in this position, you'd make about 51 to $79,000 a year. It does help to have a degree in finance, accounting, or economics, but it's not necessary. There's certain certification programs or online courses you can take to help you get into these types of positions. Here are some job opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen and I'm going to give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an associate business analyst. And this is someone who would be working in the middle of the night, but they'd basically be a junior level professional that focuses on analyzing and improving business processes, systems, and operations, right? So you'd kind of figure out what happens in the middle of the night and then you'd try to improve those processes or you'd use the middle of the night to improve the processes that happen during the day. And these positions are crucial in tech companies, consulting firms, and financial institutions. Now, this one is a bit more difficult to get into. Typically, you are gonna need a college degree to get into it, and it also helps to have some experience, but you also make about 72 to $105,000 a year. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen, and because of the fact that this one is harder to get into, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made a completely different list of 19 remote jobs that you can do at night. That video actually went viral, and you can check it out by clicking right here.